Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we are doing my first update for my Harry Potter Project Pan for 2020. If you missed the intro, I'll go ahead and throw that up in the cards, explaining the four prompts that we had for this project that was created by Christina Chang, as well as... as well as what, Monica? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the prompts that were created by Christina as well as why I picked each product to fit each prompt. So if you want to see that, I will have that intro linked above. And then in the description box, like I had in the intro, I will have links to everyone else who's doing this project. This is a project that goes across YouTube and Instagram. And it's just so much fun, like seeing so many people have fun, jump in, use up their products. And we, it's, I feel like it's a nice space that we, we could all use right now. So I have some exciting updates already, even though we're only about a month in. So let's go in the order that I picked each product, well, as well as I can remember it. So for the first product, I have this collab eyeshadow palette in After Dark, and I just hit pan in one of the shades. Yep, so. So here is my palette. As you can see, I have little baby, baby pan in the white shade. So that's actually, I hit that this morning as I was doing my makeup. And I've got a nice dip in the black shade because these are the two that I've really been focusing on first. My original goal for this was to hit pan in four shades. So my original goal for this first product is to hit pan in four shades. So I have pan in one and I think I'm pretty close to hitting pan in this black shade because I've been using both of these shades daily. I've been using the white shade to set my entire eyelid when I do eye primer. I had someone comment on my last, I think, Pan That Palette update asking how I went through the white shades so quickly. It's because I'm pale and I can use white shades to set like my primer. So that's how I can go through them so quickly. And then for the black shade, I've been using that daily in my eyebrows. <laughs> I really like a nice, strong, dark, stark, stark, yeah, that's the right word, <laughs> brow. So I like using black eyeshadow in my eyebrows. I've been doing it for months now. So I've got a nice dip, but I don't know when I'm going to be hitting pan there. I think I'm going to wait until I have significant pan in both of these shades before I decide on what other two shades I really want to focus on. Because I'm torn. I really, I think I'm going to work on the silver shade. I want to try and hit pan in the silver shade. But after that, I'm not sure exactly which one I want to focus on next. It might be this matte green one. But I don't know yet. I'm happy that one month in, I've already got pan. I think I'm off to a good start. All right, so the next products we're going to talk about are these two loose green shadows from Geek Chic Cosmetics. For these, my goal was to use both of them 40 times. And the way I'm doing that is by keeping track in my cute Harry Potter notebook. Look at this, it says mischief to manage and it's got bookmarks with all of the like houses up top. It's the cutest thing. I got it at Home Goods. It was like, actually, I've got the sticker right here. $7.99 at Home Goods a few uh, months ago. And this is where I'm keeping track. So excuse my handwriting. Uh, my handwriting is not the best. But as you can see, I've used them both significant. Well, significant for me. <laughs> for someone who doesn't really use loose shadows. So I used the shade CU Space Cowboy, which is the lighter shimmery shade. I used that three times. And then, surprising me, because I thought I would use CU Space Cowboy more often, I actually used Evil Lurks, which is this darker... I'm going to call it now, like, a matte with some glitter in it shade instead of a shimmer shade. And I used this one six times. And the reason I'm using this one so much more is that it's basically a dark green deepening shade. Once I actually go in with a brush and like tap it in, tap off the excess and go in to blend, once I blend it's basically a matte dark green shade. Which to me is great because when I'm using the shades in here or later on when I'm using the shades in the other palette, there really wasn't anything that dark. Like when I use this shade it's almost like a green toned black. It's so deep but it's really pretty. <laughs> So I, I really like using this. Um, it's not really a shimmer. I think the only way you could keep the shimmer or the glitter here is if you have a glitter glue on and then you go in with your finger. Because if you go in and you use this with a brush and you blend it, then most of the glitter moves away and you basically you're left with a nice deep matte green shade. Which I, I'm surprised by how much I like this shade. Which is the whole point of why I picked these in the first place. I, I'm surprised at how much I'm actually really liking loose products. Because before, like last year, a few months ago, I hated loose products. I thought they were messy, I thought they were kind of annoying. Now I really like them, and I like how much bang you get for your buck. You get a lot of product for uh, really inexpensive. Uh, the quality is amazing, and I'm just really loving it. So 
there might be a loose product revolution happening here in my makeup collection. So as for the goal of hitting 40, I don't want to like push myself too much because this this project goes all the way to December. We're only in early June, so I've got six months. I think this is going to be plenty of time. And if anything, once fall comes, I think I'm going to be reaching for these darker, more smoky tones even more. So I'm glad that I, again, I think this is a really good start. The next product is one that I have uh, so much progress on and I'm really excited about being close to finishing it up. And this is a highlight from Fenty. This is the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighting Duo in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. Ready to see it? That's all I have left. S isn't that crazy? Oh, just comparing it because back in the intro, th there was like most of this was covered in product and there was like pan in the middle. It's dirty. <laughs> But yeah, so when I was using this every day, because I had been using this every day, either by itself or by layering with other highlights, but when I was using this, the product at the top of the pan actually kind of crumbled, so I squished it together towards the bottom and just started using it there. This is such a soft formula that you don't really need to use alcohol to repress it. So what I did is I kind of squished all the product down into the middle, basically repressed it, and I've been using it from there, and then just using it up. Ah, I'm excited. I like to use this with a big fluffy blending brush and I apply it. I like to apply it all the way down here, a little on the nose, on the cupid's bow. I've actually been highlighting a little bit on my chin recently. <sighs> I mean, go figure. I go through all this trouble for like a matte foundation, a matte primer, and then I highlight everything. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm making great progress on this and I think, I mean, I don't want to jinx myself, but I might be able to finish this by my next update. And if that happens, this is a rolling project, so I will have to pick another project to bring in, and I think it's going to be another highlighter. So, I'm excited about that. So, we'll see how much further I can take this, and it'll be, actually, if I finish this, this will literally be the first full-sized highlighter I have ever panned. Because this side was actually the first highlighter I ever panned, but I still had this whole other side of the highlighter left. So, when I finish this, it'll be my first full-sized highlighter ever panned completely. That's pretty exciting, just to think about. So yes, I'm very excited about this one. All right, and our last product is this big behemoth. I'd be help if I don't blind you with the mirror. This is the Natasha Denona 28 Green Brown Palette. Now in my intro, I said that I wanted to hit pan in four shades in this palette for this project. And I didn't specify at that time what shades, because I wanted to spend time with the palette, try a bunch of the shades out, and then narrow from there four shades that I want to focus on. And I've done that. So I used <laughs> tape and a Sharpie to identify which shades I want to focus on. Oh my god, it's so hard, because this palette is so big. Yes, so you can see I've marked with uh, tape the four shades I want to focus on. So one, two, three, four. So these are more towards the green side of the palette, which is something I really wanted to work on. And I'm wearing most of these shades on my eyes today. I'm actually, I just finished filming a um, palette resurrection with this palette where I filmed two looks with it, talked a bit more about it, and this green look that I'm wearing with most of these shades that are uh, stickied <laughs> is one of my favorite looks. It's so pretty, it's fairly effortless, like they kind of blend out themselves. And it's just it's pretty and i like it and like today is a friday i worked with this again i'm working from home so i can kind of wear whatever the heck i want to wear when i'm working from home and i'm, I'm realizing why i like the natasha denona formula because even though i say it is overhyped it is overhyped and it is overpriced it is still a nice formula especially the mattes like the mattes are so blendable and pretty and the shimmers look at the shimmer like i've had this on for hours and it still looks gorgeous it did need to glitter glue though. I will say Natasha Denona shimmers, you, you can't just go on, you can you can put it on just a finger, but it's not going to look this vibrant. You need a glitter glue for it to be this vibrant. But I, I am remembering why I originally kind of fell in love with the formula, so that's fun too. So I've got a nice big dip in this shade, which is the one I've been using mainly as my transition. I've been doing a lot of green looks recently. Duh. <laughs> and I've been reaching for this as my main transition, no matter if I'm using this palette or if I'm using the other palettes or if I'm just doing any other kind of look. I tend to grab this as my transition, so I've got a nice dip. Like, I can see it, a dip. So I might hit pan in this one first. And then after that, I think it's going to be the shimmer, because her shimmer is like this kind of really, really foiled kind of shimmer formula is very soft. Like, if I just touch it, like... 
it's it's kind of hard to show you but when you put a brush in there it's very soft formula so I think that's actually gonna be fairly easy to hit pan on as well so yeah I'm glad I came up with the sticker idea because that makes it really easy to point out which ones I want to focus on because at first I was a bit overwhelmed with this palette just you know like I was like oh how do I how am I gonna narrow down what to focus on but after I used it a full times I found the shades that I really liked and that's what I picked and that's a great um, tip for anyone who's like newer to panning or you don't know what you want to pan. You really need to pan stuff that you like. You can hate pan, like I am doing with like my Jeffree Star products. But for the most part, it helps to start, at least start, panning products you love. That way you actually want to reach for them and keep reaching for them because you're going to have to keep reaching for them over and over and over to pan it. All right, so that is my first update for this project. Do you like my little bow? I'm probably going to wear this in every update. I love this. It's so cute. And I just washed my hair. So I'm having a decent hair day. I got my cute hair bow. I got my green, can you see my green dress? I got my green dress on, green eyeshadow. Loving it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check out, I'll have a playlist made by the time this video goes up for all the videos in this year's playlist. And then I will have the playlist, we have like a master playlist to everyone who's doing this um, project here on YouTube. I'll have that linked down below as well. Thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.